Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be journaling some heart-shaped islands since we just celebrated Valentine's Day, and I'll be doing it in the Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook. The verse is Ezekiel 36, verse 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I'm working in the Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook, and this book is on Bible paper, has some drawings in it, and this one already has the islands there for you. And the prompt on the page asks, where has God's goodness changed your personality? Journal about an aspect of your character that isn't the same as it once was. And the prompts throughout this entire workbook help us to kind of think through different things in our life, different transformations. And the whole map idea, which is there's a whole chapter on that in the main book with tutorials in it, has a different kind of map than this. But it's really helpful to journey, to, to journal our journey and to really document for ourselves how we've moved from one thing to another. And in this one, the island at the top represents old, yucky. Um, I, I will label it for myself. Um, the, the Plains of Worry, uh, All About Me Beach, The Stingy Mountains. <laughs> uh, because what I wanted to journey journal in this is my journey from being stingy to being generous. God has transformed my heart Many, 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 many years ago, I, well, I shouldn't say many, many, it wasn't all that long ago, I was much more concerned about my finances than I am nowadays, which is a little bit odd because I am a self-employed artist now and you would think I would be much more worried about that. But what I've found is that the less I am concerned with me and my finances and my retirement and my taxes and my mortgage and everything, the more God is able to provide. And that's what I wanted to document here. Now notice I'm doing this in very messy watercolor pencil. I am scribbling and I put some old yucky colors, well, I shouldn't say old yucky colors, but some yucky colors into the, the island where I was, the island of worry, and started to put just mushy, yucky, depressing colors in there. The water around that is gonna be churny and dark. And then the island where God has taken me to is going to be bright and happy and have a lot more light colors in it. Both of them will have a little beach leading up to the, the water that joins them. But you can see even if you have messy watercolor pencil, you can just paint around them and it works just fine to melt that pencil into pigment but sometimes it's easier to put the pigment on with a pencil than it is to paint it on with a brush. You have a little bit more control, a little more time to think. And I'm only painting as far as getting right up to the edges of the hearts of those islands. And then once I get out to the rest of the page, I can just start working with the baby wipe because you guys know me and the baby wipes. Love to use those. And then I'll spread out the rest of the color on the page. So if you're doing this in your Bible, you can do the pencil work right in the, the margin and then start spreading the color around on the page so you can still read the words underneath. And I am going to do my journaling in here, but I'll do that after I get all the paint finished because I tend to just process things while I'm creating the art. So I want to be able to think about kind of where God's taking me on this page and, and process and meditate on the scripture and the transformations God's made in my life. So I've ironed it with just a sheet of paper over top that'll flatten it out a little bit more. And then I can go in with my pencils and add all kinds of fun details. There's little mountains, little triangles drawn on there. I can add a little detail there. I can, you know, scribble some more color here and there. You can do all kinds of things. You can add little people on there. You can add buildings. Depending on what you're journaling, you may want to make it a specific place. If God's taking you from one place in a cold climate to a warm climate and transformed your life through that. If he's taking you from a place where you used to have a lot of hatred in your heart and he's put love in your heart, then make the colors reflect that and, and make the images on the, the islands themselves somehow reflect that. The whole idea of maps is just a great way to capture that journey and celebrate that God has taken you from one place to another. 
So back to the pencil work, I'm adding a little bit of dark blue outline right around the edge of the water so that I have my islands a little bit outlined and they, they pop out a little bit more from that background. And you can of course spread the color again with a brush or with a baby wipe, or you can just leave some of the pencil work there, which is what I'm gonna do. You can make waves crashing in toward the islands. Have fun with this and, and really make it your own. That's one of the reasons why when I drew these pictures in here, I made really simple outlines that you can adapt. You can change them and do lots of things with them. On the tutorial in the book on page 98, you can see a whole different version. There's big heavy outlines around it with uh, more, not heart-shaped mountains, but more different kinds of, of island shapes and ideas for how to use this kind of a concept. So I'm adding a little more of the, the island color down there at the bottom <laughs> so I can make it a little bit on the happier side down in the place where God has taken me. So my island at the top is labeled with the Stingy Mountains, the Plains of Worry, and All About Me Beach, because one of the places God's really transformed my life over the last probably 20 to 30 years is going from a place where I was a much more selfish person than I am now. And so on my new island is the Forests of Generosity, the Cove of Others, so there's a little cove where I think about other people and trusting him for my provision. And I'm just going to call the whole thing the island of trust for my provision, because now I know that God's going to take care of my needs regardless of, of what goes on if I turn it over to him. And I'm amazed at um, something that happened once I started tithing to my church and then also tithing to give to other charities, both Christian and non-Christian charities, God has multiplied my income and made things like stretch further than I ever thought they would. I never really realized that God was such a good bookkeeper that he could fix things. When he calls me to be generous to someone, I don't have to think now, can I afford that as much as how much can I give? Where can I get involved? So through the, uh, he took me through the sea of selfishness. Uh, he had me work for charities. I've worked for nonprofits and run my own. And now I'm seeing the needs and I'm seeing the blessings of actually what happens when we start to be generous and do as God calls us to do. So I wish I could journal quite this fast. I'm speeding it up, but the journaling is just about my, my own story of where God's taken my heart. So the topic in my, my Bible is slightly different, and I'm going to add some journaling to that one. So you can use this kind of an idea for lots of different types of transformations in your life. So I hope this will be a helpful idea for you, and I will see you again next week. Have a blessed week. God bless you. He loves you very much.